Okay, thank you. So hello everyone and thank you for the introduction. I am presenting a part of my thesis di dissertation that I am developing at Universidad Complutense de Madrid. My research is centered in a extinct uh, group of uh, chrysetids or rodents, uh, the tribe Chrysetodontini. So among other genera in this tribe, I'm going to describe the morphological and geographical variation of four different genera. Chrysetodon, Hispanomys, Byzantinia, and Rosinomys. The most uh, primitive one is Chrysetodon, as you can see in this graph, and the, the most uh, primitive is Rustinomys. Uh, while Chrysetodon present brachydon molars, the rest of them present hypsodon uh, molar. Um, uh, these four genera have uh, a relevance in biostatigraphy and bichronology. Uh, most of uh, their species um, are key species in the mammal neogenic units and uh, allowed us to describe some of these units. Uh, they originated in Asia Minor, in Anatolia, in the oligomyosine boundary with the species Chrysetodon versteri. After that, and during the middle early Miocene, uh, they occupy other um, uh, regions as uh, the east of Asia. And after that, and during the Middle Miocene, they reach its maximum development in terms of morphology and geographical range, and they uh, reach the Iberian Peninsula. So the aim of this work is to study uh, the diversity of this tribe, collecting the morphological, the temporal, and spatial information of different species of this tribe. To do that, I'm going to use uh, our studio. First of all, I'm going to perform a geometric morphometric analysis using the package MOMOX. And uh, I perform an analysis in more than 400 first upper molars or M1 of these four genera that I said before, and 51 uh, species. To perform this analysis, I digitized a C uh, 64 equally spaced points along the outline uh, of the M1, the upper first molar, as you can see in this image. Then uh, I obtained 64 XY coordinates that, um, uh, and then I apply a generalized procuse test analysis or GPA to minimize the effect of location, scale, and rotation of the sample and obtain uh, 64 new coordinates that uh, will be uh, the data for the morphological analysis. After that, I apply the elliptic Fourier transformation and obtain uh, harmonics. I retain the first nine harmonics that describe perfectly the shape of the outline, as you can see in this image. To uh, perform the geographical analysis, I'm going to use the same uh, RS Tutor, but in this case, I'm going to use Ecophilomaper or EPM package. In uh, more than 150 localities from uh, nine different countries, mostly uh, they, they are uh, from Europe and Asia. To obtain the geographical coordinates, uh, we used uh, two different databases, DBIF and PDBD. And then we built a raster map. This is a map uh, made up of uh, a set of number of pixels. And then we are going to study the species richness per fossil sites. So first of all, I'm going to explain the morphological uh, analysis, the morphometric analysis. And with the nine harmonics, uh, we perform a principal component analysis. Uh, but we retain only the PC1 that um, explain more than the 70% of the variance of the sample. All these bars are the stratigraphical range for these species with the first and the last appearance uh, data. I use four different colors to describe these uh, different morphologies that uh, allow me uh, to describe the uh, morphometric analysis. We have a straight morphology for Chrysetodon, the most uh, primitive species, and a higher degree of trilobed morphology uh, until the highest degree of trilobed morphology of Rastanomys. So this morphological information is going to be joined with the raster map. I'm going to use this uh, color to uh, analyze the species richness uh, per fossil site, the bluish color 
explain uh, one uh, species per fossil, and then uh, when when we uh, use the the reddish color, um, there this uh, means that there are more species per fossil sites. I'm going to divide the PC1 in the three different uh, period of time of the Miocene to explain better the morphological and geographical difference uh, of this tribe. So first of all, during the early Miocene, as I said before, this origin, this tribe origin in the in Asia Minor in Anatolia, but they reached the east part of Asia. Uh, you can see we only record uh, we uh, Christetodon is the uh, only genus recorded during this period, and the uh, morphological variation is uh, very high. After that, and during the Middle Miocene, uh, another uh, genus appeared, Byzantinia. Um, Byzantinia is, uh, was recorded in Anatolia and Greece and present this trilobed outline. So we have two different morphologies, uh, the uh, straight one and the trilobed one. And um, the most uh, species fossil sites of the map are uh, in the uh, Iberian Peninsula and in the center of Europe. After that, during the late Miocene, we have uh, the, the four uh, genera have been recorded, but uh, in this case, uh, we, we don't have any record in Asia and we only have records in Europe, uh, Asia Minor and the Iberian Peninsula. And we can see uh, a pattern from brachydont molar with a straight uh, morphology on the labial region to hypsodon molar with uh, a very marked trilobed morphology on this labial region. You can see Chrysetodon, uh, it's only recorded in the lower panel, in the lower part of this late Miocene. So we think that this change in the outline morphology could be related with a change in the environment conditions because we have humid conditions during the early and uh, middle Miocene in some of, in most of these fossil sites, but during the late Miocene, this condition became drier and um, these hamsters um, present higher crowns, higher height uh, crowns with brachydont molar. So uh, in conclusion, rodents and especially chrysetids were a great tool in biostratigraphy and biochronology, as I uh, show in this presentation. Our studio has allowed us to perform multivariate analysis, joining data from two different sources. In this case, uh, morphological and geographical uh, data that the outline analysis has permitted us to establish a morphological pattern for this drive from a straight uh, outline to trilobed outline. The geographical analysis has shown the biogeographical, the biogeography of the tribe. And of course, further analysis are required to recognize the morphological evolution of this tribe along the time because uh, the record of this tribe is uh, occurred in uh, 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 a highly uh, changing uh, climatic condition. So, Thank you so much for your attention, and I'd like to thank uh, Transmitting Science for their courses in our studio and in MOMOX and EPM packages, uh, the Universidad Complutense de Madrid for my predoctoral grant, and the Ministerio de Ciencia of Spain for funding this project. Thank you so much, and it will be a pleasure to answer your questions.